What is up Beach Bums? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Matthew Isbell. This is my channel, Bama Beach Bum. Hit the subscribe button if you like saltwater fishing videos. I do post really a lot of them. a bum too. I am a bum. Uh, I show up late all the time. Uh, I'm pretty much a bum. But this is my buddy, Brad. Go check him out. If you have not subscribed to his channel, he just hit 50K. Yes. But we're trying to get the man this year to 100k 100. that that's a big goal that's a like, big number like 50k in a year is huge so like i know i've got there's got to be some people watching this video that have not subscribed to yes. your channel there, come on there has to be there's people watching this video that haven't subscribed to my channel <laughs> right so what are you doing first red button. it's free first subscribe it is free subscribe to me then go over to bearded brad got a link in the description go subscribe to his channel too we got to get him to 100k anyway enough of that we're on the pier we're you alright? That rod fell through the thing again. Oh, I gotcha. We're at Navarre Pier here in Florida. We got out here earlier. Massive storm came through. So we got off the pier. We're trying to be safe, but looking for big fish today. That's the goal. Anything big, don't care. We want to hook it. We want to catch it. We're going to see what we can get into. I'm ready. Let's get to fishing. You see fish, you got to throw at them, right? Y'all are making videos. I'm standing six feet away. <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, there he is. There he is. I got him. Oh, I got him. Look at there. This might be my first ladyfish of the year, dude. First official ladyfish catch. Welcome to summer. I you caught one the other day. I, I hooked one. Uh, Did not catch it. First ladyfish of the year. Knocked off the list. We'll get him back. Pretty aggressive little fish. Um as much as we knock ladyfish uh there are definitely times in the winter where we would be more than happy to see them Absolutely. i mean fishing is so tough is that that big is that them right there that big dark spot all right let, let's just try, try to catch one more just because it's fun fish are fish we we knock them but they are fun fish to catch i will say that they're like little tarpon you know people call them poor man's tarpon Cause they're real acrobatic oh there we go there we go oh that might be a blue runner oh no it's a, it's a lady there he goes oh he spit he spit let's see if he'll eat again the lady fish killer slaying them today there's some more right there oh 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 there he is oh man they're hard to hang on to These fish are nuts, man. They are everywhere. Oh, right there. Dang, I didn't even see him. He came out of nowhere. Let's see if I can get number two. How many you got, Brad? Uh, I hooked one and lost it up here. Uh, I'm two up on you. You're the lady fish champion. These, uh, these fish poop everywhere. They are full of poop. And they just fling it all over you. There we go. Ladyfish number two. Are you jealous yet? I'm very jealous. You should be. Be sure to subscribe to Beach Bump for more ladyfish. <laughs> for yes. for lady ladyfish action. They're moving in though. So there we go. I'm in them. Oh there oh dang. Come on. There we go. Stay on. Stay on. Might use you for shark bait. <laughs> Grant's jacking one up. Ah! There's a fish. Yeah. Yeah. Get him, beach bum. That lady is mine. Look at I got her. I got him on the light tackle here. On the pump jig. He's probably gonna fray my 17. Uh, no, oh, no, no. You got him. Oh no, you're gonna wrap me. You're gonna make me lose my fish, man. No. Oh, oh we're yeah, we're 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 tangled now. 
get rid of him. See you, lady. Yeah, I'm the pump G. I was gonna try to jig up a pompano, but I think there's too many ladyfish around. No. <laughs> this, this definitely isn't Gulf Shores. If you're getting Gulf Shores, you'd have been all over it. Is it really like that? Oh, it's insane. Yeah. <laughs> He's coming back towards me though. There he is. Come on, eat it. Got a ladyfish head out there. He sees it. He didn't eat it. He's around it. You're supposed to eat that, man. Got a big one. Pro. You want another one? I'm slaying it. I was trying I was trying to get those hardtails. Lady killer. Oh golly! It's a cobia! Oh no! Are you freaking kidding me? He ate, dude. Oh my gosh. So I have replayed this in my head and on my computer several times over the last couple of days. That happened a few days ago and I still can't shake the fact that I had that opportunity and missed it. It happens, but looking at the footage, I think I made a mistake. I think I should have hit the fish a lot harder a lot sooner. So the way that I was setting the hook when it, the cobia initially ate my jig, I was setting it real quick and fast, kind of like you would when a king mackerel hits, uh, which is kind of a lot of the fishing I've been doing. You kind of black out for a minute. It's really weird. Like honestly, I didn't remember much of like how that transpired until I obviously went back and watched the footage. So I'm glad I had it just so that I could actually see what happened, but. I was trying to hit it, you know, real quick hits. And then as I'm like backing up and re, you know, getting the rod in position to really, I was like, man, I got to hit him harder. As I was about to start really hitting him hard because the lure's still in the Cobia's mouth, it, it comes out. So had I hit him harder quicker, might would have been able to put that hook through the head of that Cobia, which Cobia have very, hard heads very hard mouths it's very hard to hook that's why you have to like put it on them and uh i didn't whether or not that would have made a difference i don't know that stuff happens again it's fishing jig could have been in a weird position where the hook just wasn't going to actually drive into the fish uh it happens a lot with cobia to have a shot at a fish it's a, a very rare occurrence especially these days from a pier to actually see a cobia and then to have a shot at it, to have it eat, like all those things, extremely rare. I've caught two cobia from the pier in my life, one at Navarre, one at Gulf Shores. Both were not legal. One was very close. I caught it like two years ago at Gulf Shores and it was like 35 and a half inches to the fort. We, we of course let that fish go. But man, it's, uh, I've been hurting, man. It was such a unique, and rare opportunity that I missed. Most certainly the most sick I've ever been over losing a fish just because of the rarity of it and 
knowing that I may not have too many swings at the plate at an opportunity like that. But I'm back fishing today. Gonna walk the beach a little bit. Uh, might throw some top water. I got it tied on. You got a mirrodine tied on. See if I can hook up on anything out here. I'm trying to shake the feeling. All right, I've switched over to a mirrodine twitch bait. Top water's not doing anything for me. Oh, there's a fish. Good gracious. He hammered it right there. Don't know what we got, but man, that was an aggressive eat. If it's a bluefish, um, could cut me. Spanish. Spanish mackerel. Goodness gracious. Right by the beach. Hammered that. Wow. That was fast and aggressive on the twitch bait. Well, I've never caught this many Spanish up close. If you've been tracking my last several videos, I keep catching these guys real close to the beach. All right, see you, buddy. Wow, that was uh, unexpected once again. We'll check my leader, I think we're okay. But man, he hammered it, ripped some drag just a few feet from the beach. Oh, there's a fish right there. Dang. Didn't get a good look at him. Ooh, keep that head down. What do we got? Is that another Spanish, man? Are you kidding me? He popped off right there, but... Yeah, let's check our leader. What is up with these Spanish, man? I've just not run into this... Really ever, where I've had this many this close to the beach when I'm trying to trout fish. Well, today was just a quick morning. I've got some other stuff I've got to get done today, but wanted to come and see if I could locate some trout. Did start with the top water, threw the mirrodin for a little bit. Can't seem to uh, get on a trout bite and surf. I know there's some that have been around, but I just can't find the right spot in the right conditions, evidently. But we will keep trying, don't worry. And maybe, maybe one day I will get another swing at the plate at a cobia from the pier that's legal because that was definitely a legal fish. The one that I missed a few days ago with Brad. <sighs> Man, still stings. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed seeing me fail. Hope it makes you feel better about yourself in some way and that uh, we are in this together. And if you've ever made a mistake or missed a golden opportunity, you're not alone. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Make me feel better. Give this video a thumbs up, even though I suck at fishing. And as always, you stay bummy.